you can't get clean video output on Panasonic G7, they say. Or can you? Of course you can. I will show you how. Let's start. Hello friends, this is Mario Becky. Today I will debunk the myth of not being able to get the clean video output on mirrorless camera Panasonic G7. No, you don't need to wait to make the menu disappear after a minute or so as you may have seen in videos of other YouTubers. You can do it straight in the camera menu. So this is my Panasonic G7. Wonderful, tiny and affordable camera with amazing video features which you can't find in other cameras. For getting the cheapest way to get the clean video output on G7, you need to get yourself a capture card. This one did cost 6 euros new on eBay with free shipping. You may go for more expensive options, but if you are planning to shoot on G7, that is to say in 4K, 4 to 0, 8-bit video, this capture card will be plenty enough. This capture card and the other thing you need is a HDMI cable. Specifically, you need a male generic HDMI connector on one side of the cable and micro HDMI on the other side of the cable. I would strongly suggest to buy a quality cable for this transmission as 4K signal transfer a lot of data. As first, insert the capture card to whatever USB port. Insert the big HDMI connector into the capture card and micro HDMI connector into HDMI port on G7. It's the one in the middle. Turn the camera on and don't push any off other buttons on camera yet. As a live stream transmission program on my Windows 10 operating system, I am using the Prism Live Studio. This is a free program, available either in Microsoft Store or on Prism website. Click on Add Source and select Webcam Video capture device, then click OK and again OK. You can immediately see that your G7 is connected to your computer. Don't configure anything, don't select anything, just click OK. As you can see, there is a live transmission on your computer screen already. However, this video output is not clean. That is to say, it contains the information you see on your camera screen. If you are streaming live, you probably don't want that. Now, what you need to do is to select the manual movie mode dial and push the menu button on your G7. Go to range menu option, page 3 out of 5 and choose TV connection. Make sure to have selected the video out that your country is using. What you are looking for is HDMI Info Display Rec. As a default is set to ON. If you want a clean video output on your live streaming, you need to set it to OFF. On your monitor or display, you can already notice that the recording info disappeared. Voila! You will keep your info in your camera display, but the video output will be clean. Maybe I should mention that I am residing in Europe. It means that I didn't test this on camera that might be modified for any other region in the world. You need to test it for yourself. In fact, I would love to get your response whether this worked for you or not. Tell me in the comments below this video.
It would be also good to mention from me that my G7 has the firmware version 2.2. I love this tiny camera. If you want to see a very long term review of it, I am inviting you to subscribe to my channel as this review will be published shortly after this video. Alongside, this will also tell you whether I am going to keep this camera or upgrade to something different or better perhaps in the near future. As you see, this tiny camera can still keep up with much modern cameras when you consider that you can get it new for 250 euros or dollars, that's a real steal. Anyways, I hope that this video helps you. By the way, all the links except the Prism Live Studio program which is free in the description of this video are affiliate links, so when you will use them, you will get things for a great price and I will get a small reward, which is much appreciated from my side. As you see, there are myths, and not getting clean video output on Panasonic G7 is one of them. My name is Mario Becchi, thanks for watching and see you soon. Ciao!